Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to our Factorio Space Age playthrough. Uh, we're picking up mostly where we left off. We had an issue with the Glabian Nightmare where it was running out of ammo. So what I did is I made it uh, force stop for 10 minutes at Novus once it's there. And that should allow more time for uh, rebuilding the ammo supply while we're stopped at Novus. Uh, we'll see if that's actually an effective solution or not. I'm not really sure. I don't really know, to be honest. So, we'll find out. Uh, we'll just have to keep an eye on it, because it goes back and forth pretty constantly. We're also having some issues. I sped this up even more so that it can get to the 30 a second, uh, which is filling half of the turbo belt. But now we've got the problem of the... The, we don't have enough fruit and I don't know if that's a I don't know what the issue is I probably just need another agriculture tower to be honest um, there's not a lot more of the bright green area is the problem I'm kind of maxed out I think uh, yeah, if I grab Yumako soil, there's no more little green areas. So that means we are collecting as much as we can. And it's not enough. Uh, also, the YouTube and Twitch chat isn't working, so unfortunately, you guys won't be able to read the comments, those of you from the future. But yeah, Waskily, I did make artificial soil. You need a, a second kind of soil, which I can't make yet. I need this research overgrowth soil to be able to go fully over everything so can't do that yet um which means i guess we're going up here to get a little bit more maybe there I wish it was easy to tell exactly what placement would give you the most, um, you know, like the most trees, because that's not entirely obvious, but we'll do that. We'll grab our Yumako soil. So right now I'm working on stack inserters because I can make quite a few things more efficient in life with stack inserters. And I just feel like we have a list of about 10,000 things that we need to do. Because we also need to get Bioflux back to Nalvis to work on biter eggs. Um, we need to make the carbon fiber mesh, which I'm not doing anything with. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, ah! Okay, well, uh, it's a good thing we have 10 minutes of forced wait time, because it needs it. We need that ammo. While we're sitting here, we're using pretty much all of our power, so I could probably speed up a few of these smelters, but that's going to use a lot more power is the problem. So at some point we won't have enough. But that actually seems okay. <laughs> you can't even read the tooltip because of how big this area is over here. I really wish there was a way to to, ha to have tooltips over there normally, but be able to hit a hotkey to bring tooltips to the mouse. Like, it's actually really frustrating I can't see this tooltip. I think, what is it? Control, Alt, uh, Minus. Yeah, you can shrink it down. Uh, so those are using 72, and those use, yeah, these use triple the power when we add a speed module. Um, are trains even viable on Glaba? Yeah, yeah, you can, you can do trains with, uh, with landfill and stuff. Should work fine. Maybe I'll put some more solar panels along this area. 
Seems like a reasonable place for it. And that can supply hopefully the rest of these with enough power to have speed modules. And now we don't have enough iron, but that's just because we're sitting still. See, the problem is sitting at Nauvis, you know, we're not getting a very big iron supply. And I don't have any sort of buffer using the hub or anything. Ugh. Could be problematic. I don't know. We'll see if 10 minutes is enough. Let's see if 10 minutes is enough. Um, <laughs> okay, so anyway, back to what I was doing here. So I wanted to get some of the soil so that we could make sure we have enough jelly nut. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So, jelly nut. Goes like a dice. And then... I mean, our plan has worked so far, so let's just keep connecting these. And then... Copy that. But, we are going to make the change now of using a buffer chest. Problem being, inserters don't work very fast on buffer chests, so I'll probably need two inserters. Soon to be stack inserters. And that just gets rid of excess, which we shouldn't have going on, but we'll see. And then this will connect to the chest. These take spoiled first. And then this will come over here. Okay. So now we want to go if Yumako's less than like 500. that condition to all of the things and now we need seeds quality furnaces may be the answer yeah I need quality everything is the problem quality is on my on my list of to do's cuz right now I've been playing I have some quality things like obviously my rare mech armor is my pride and joy but I haven't gone very hard uh, into the quality mechanic, and so that's kind of still something we need to do if we're going to really optimize. I feel like I'm entering into a more chill portion of the game, by the way. Um, we're not just going to rush to Aquilo at this point. We're going to do a lot of little things, and so even though I could be rushing to Aquilo, I'm not going to. Yeah, we really ran out of Yumako. I don't know how how exactly we ran out. So f I guess because I sped up my Yumako processing, that's how we're running out. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, prod three modules would be really nice. How close are we to making those? Those need biter eggs, which is annoying. So we're still pretty far away from that. I could build rare furnaces on Fulgora, potentially. Yeah, I might be able to. But that's just one more thing on the to-do list. <laughs> one more thing. Um, okay, so now, now that I'm forcing a 10-minute wait, is this going to back up? Are we going to have problems with this backing up? The eggs get trashed, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, I mean, it's technically possible our Glabo Science spoils, so we should put in the remove spoilage meter. The spoilage getter ridder of her, as we call it. 
Whoa, we have stacked stone. I didn't even notice. It's so cool. It's so cool. And there's stacks of three now because I finished the capacity research. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Okay. So to make stack inserters, we're going to need to make bulk inserters first. And then we need jelly and carbon fiber. And carbon fiber is carbon and fiber. No, uh, carbon and Yumako mesh. So that means we're going to need even more Yumako mesh. Probably a separate supply. And then carbon comes from spoilage. So we're going to have to use up some spoilage. So now can these make these can't make inserters, right? No, okay. So then in the mall, great mall of Crydania, we shall throw in inserters to two stacks. Blue inserters. I don't actually know why I did two stacks of that. Really, it's these I should have two or three stacks of. Um, and I think we've got everything we need for all that, so that should be fine. Then... Um, how's Yumako doing? I don't think I need a limit on the chest, by the way. Because these are set to only harvest if we have less than 500 in the chest. So yeah, once this harvest grows, we should be good to go. We're almost there. We're at 70%. So that's a thing. Okay, so then... Let's see. I've got spoilage mostly in the network. Um, so we should be able to... Wait, why is this... Oh, I didn't realize we were going on both sides of the belt. For now, I don't want that. Uh-oh. The Derpamu ran out of ammo. Now, that's not what I expected. The Derpamu needs to chill more as well. Um, let's wait 10 minutes on Novice for this one. Again, needing more, more chill time. Yeah, my ammo production is just not fast enough. Well, we'll copy what we did. Ooh, we have better modules. I can take a speed three and an efficiency two. And that'll make these guys a lot faster. And take more power to 34 kilowatts. Now they'll make plates a lot faster and then we can do Or at least some extra solar panels. Hopefully that's good enough. Uh, I mean, I'm at... Oh, this is at Nalvis. And this one, I guess it does go to Glaba. There's less power at Glaba. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, why did we just send a go million iron? Exactly. Yeah, I know the planet requested it. I'm just... Trying to parse what exactly I'm doing here with iron. Yeah... The reason I was doing that was because of my Crydania space station to get rid of... I guess we were just getting rid of extra iron from here. It's actually frustrating you can't request from specific sta space stations. Like, a re it requests from any station. I actually don't like that. Um... So yeah, rather than sending iron down like we were, I think we're just gonna trash iron. Look 
whatever. This is fine. <laughs> Space science is running. That's all that matters. <laughs> um, I'm requesting iron to be shipped up. Yeah, that's in the Derpamu. Not in the other one. And it's it's not requesting iron from Navis. This one is just requesting a hundred. Because I don't remember why. Oh, I think that was me trying to get it to trash. No, that wasn't requesting. That was just trashing iron above 100 is what that was doing. Um, that's what that was. That was an auto trash, not a request. Anyway, uh, wow, there's so much going on right now. Okay, so back to this. We should be good on Yumako for a while. Glabian Nightmare. It made it to Glaba, and now it's requesting stuff. Um, let's at least request some Bioflux, like a hundred. Available on the planet zero. Yeah, so we're not making enough Bioflux. And then we'll request stack inserters. Also, 100. Okay, so anyway, back to this process. We would like. Oh, we got. Oh, right, right, right. I always forget about that. When you place a new agriculture tower, there's a mess that you have to handle before you do anything else. <laughs> um. Okay, so we need some Yumako Mash, specifically for making stack inserters. And this is where... I kind of want to make the mash on demand. Because if I don't, we're going to end up wasting Yumako. And wasting Yumako... And I know we're already wasting some, but I, I, I don't want to add more waste, because then we just add more pollution than we need to. And stack inserters isn't something that I'm going to have a constant consumption of. Right? So I don't really need... Oh, but then the nutrients. Frickin' nutrients, man. This is all so tricky. Part of me wants to rebuild the entire Gleba base. I'm not going to, but man be nice. Oh, great. And now my iron and copper broke down. Probably because I ran out of bioflux. Um. I haven't been converted by their awesomeness. Uh, what are you talking about, Waskily? Oh, stack and Oh, no, I, I don't worry. I plan to put stack inserters all over the place. But even then, they're still not constant consumption. They're fixed consumption. All right, copper. What would be really nice is an automated iron starter upper. And then I wouldn't have to do this every time this breaks. Uh, but that would be a lot of work to set up. <laughs> I feel like that's where I'm at right now. Every single thing I'm dealing with is like, I could do that, but that would be a lot of work to set up. And that's literally everything right now. Um, okay, so as far as nutrients... Doing the request... I feel like I should set up a blueprint for, like, request bioflux. Make nutrients out of... And then I wouldn't have to do this as often. Maybe work right here? Maybe, maybe this is the idea. So maybe... We get rid of this water here. We move the roboport. Move the power. And then... Also move the sulfuric. So maybe I do this here, and then I can use the nutrients uh, from right here. We've already got that set up. 
So then this is mash. Mash made to order for stack inserters. Or for carbon fiber. So what I could do is now set these inserters to have a stack size of 10. And then we're only ever inserting the full amount uh, that they need. And then we can do a requester chest for the carbon. Carbon. Cool. Okay, and then the nutrients will just meander on by. Like so. And yes, we will need a spoilage getter ridder of her, as usual. Uh, which... Do I have somewhere in my copy history? There it is. Wait, what? Fast inserter. Oh, that was from my science build on Novus. Um, that's funny. Okay. So. Uh, I need to make carbon... I make that in. Burnt spoilage. Okay, I just make that in bio chambers, which also need nutrients. Um, mm -hmm. do this right here as well. Spider, and then. Let's see. I will request spoilage. Will this be fast enough? Oh no, not even close. Um. Probably need a beacon these. Oh goodness. All right, uh, prod. the spoilage get a ridder of hers and then there we go cool all right filter carbon there, i can just grab this Put there Put that there carbon 2000 oh all right, and it's one from six, but we get a lot of extra productivity, so it's closer to two from six. Oh. I... Don't have spoilage being fed in. Um... I feel like I'm a bit scatterbrained today. But we're getting we're getting stuff done. We're getting carbon fiber done. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. So carbon fiber is good, I think, now. Oh. I'm I'm dumb. I built this off of the Yumako, not the Yumako Mash. Damn. Uh, okay, so... Pivot. How do we pivot properly here? Mm. I think what we can do is... 
move this up. And then back down. So that's still the same thing. And then this needs to be our Yumako mash belt. Wow, okay. Screwed that one up. And then the seeds, I don't even know. We'll just have to ditch the seeds or something. Um, Yumako mash. Whitelist. And then seeds and spoilage. Go here. Okay, so there's Yumako Mesh. Uh, and this belt can stop there. And we only want the Yumako Mesh to be running. I don't even have outserters either. Gosh, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? All right. Fighter chests, carbon fiber, less than 2,000, eh, 3,000. It's free. It's just spoilage and mash. This doesn't have bioflux. That turned to spoilage, that doesn't make sense. Oh, right, because it doesn't grab from the end of the belt. That problem. Um, so wait, why is this? Oh, because this is saying... Right. Let's do less than 10. Make it go a little faster. Why is it stopped? Oh. Equals 10. There's the problem. Okay. Um, so that... We'll feed these with nutrients. Okay, I need a lot of nutrients. I guess I need that to be a snack center. That's what I need. Um, maybe I need two inserters. Uh, Trenton, can the demolishers respawn? No, no, they cannot. They are a one and done situation. All right. Well, I don't really know what's going on here, but I have carbon fiber, so I think we're okay. Um. Just gonna say we're good. And I only need two per stack inserter, so it's not like we need absurd amounts. <sighs> so if these are running most of the time, I think we'll be okay. So I can speed this up a bit. Alright, cool. Well. After all that chaos, we should now be good to set up a mall VP for 10 stacks of nothing. Uh, whoops. Let me do that. Uh, so once you kill them in an area, you're good to start moving in? Yes, that is exactly right. Once you've offed a demolisher, it is now your home. You own the space. I'd say it's free real estate, but you kind of paid for it. <laughs> so, not quite free real estate. Alright, this should give me stack inserters. Ta-da! Woohoo! We did it! Um, so... Now we have stack inserters. Stack size of 50? No, wait, that's the stack size of the... Sorry. Hand stack size is 16, okay. 
So then if I put those... Uh, where are they? So where had I conjectured putting that? I guess it doesn't matter because I've now got those. These guys. Weird. Now, how the heck does stacked spoilables work? Because it's three separate items. Do they have three three separate timers? Or do they average out per square? So the whole stack of three turns to spoilage at the same time. There's an interesting question. Uh, okay, so now this is just too slow, is the problem. Well, not quite. Stacking the jelly would help, I guess, to keep these running constantly. Um, let me throw another speed beacon here. We need we need more biofluids to what's going on here. Or do we? No, it's backing up. Okay, good. Yeah, we need the bioflux to back up. I guess uh, the jelly nut can be stack inserted. Or the jelly, I should say. And then that'll help the density of this belt. Because basically that makes this little buffer three times... What? Now, how did that happen? Oh, are you kidding me? It doesn't keep the spoiled priority when you paste over an inserter? Now, that seems really messed up. So if I set a filter and I do a spoiled priority and then I replace it with a stack... Oh, no, that stays. Okay, wait, then what just happened? first. Wait, when did this all turn to spoilage? What's going on here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, these need a whitelist on jelly. Spoiled first. And then we need a blacklist on jelly here. I think that's what I had meant to do initially. Um, and this needs to whitelist on seeds. Because that's to burn extra seeds. And now we don't have a way to get rid of spoilage in this box. Wait. Oh, yeah, it's going here now. Um, and that's okay. I, I think there shouldn't ever be any. The problem is we were making jelly faster than we were putting it on the belt. That's what the issue was. Because we were, we were, yeah, because we're burning all the extra jelly. So there, there should never be anything in this box in the first place. That was the issue. All right. All right, so stack inserters are done-ish, I think. Let's see, do we have a lot already? Eh, not really. We're short on green chips. Uh, what's that? What's that look like? We're short on iron plates. Uh, we're short on iron plates because they take a while to craft, I guess. And you don't have enough. This one's even sped up. 
guess 10 plates a second isn't quite enough for my circuit needs. Uh, let's see. Cutting all of you off. That's part of the problem. Um, don't need that many rocket silos now or forever. So yeah, green circuits are the issue because bulk inserters need 15 each. Not to mention these needing a blue circuit, which needs another 20 or whatever. Though I have productivity. Speaking of productivity, why don't we make this more productive? This. Why is this? Oh, right, right, right. Do it that way. Um, let's just go full, full prod here. Let's see what that does to my power network. Uh, it's acceptable. Definitely a lot of power, but we're still okay. And the last thing I could do, and we could add more beacons to this. I could make a second plate maker. I mean, what's my actual circuit per, per minute here? I'm getting like 10 a second, so that that feels like enough. Maybe I'm not making enough, but I think over time, you know, you gotta remember, like, after this is gone for 10 hours, like, we're gonna be fine. Sometimes the rates feel a little slow at first, but as long as they're running and we're getting stack inserters, built up over time. Now, how am I getting a bunch of spoilage in here? Oh, the jelly. Oh, right. I think I meant to actually use this jelly. Rather than request it. What's up, Sneaky Pete? The chat app is not working, so that's why nobody can see the chat on the screen, unfortunately. Wait, did I just put all that in there? I think I meant to trash that. <laughs> Whoops. Um, okay. Might want to start adding trash unrequested on your requesters. They will fill with spoilage. Uh, that's only if I'm requesting things that can spoil, which I'm not anymore. But that should be fine. And same thing here. Spoilage is already spoiled, and carbon doesn't spoil. We should be okay. I'm jealous of your farm locations. Well, TNT, I did pick this. I explored quite a bit to find a spot where we had pink and green close together along with a stone patch. So, it was planned this way, to be fair. This would have been a good location as well, but the problem is the bright green is pretty small, which is what you need for the Mako. Yeah, actually, this would have been a bad spot. Wait, is this? No, there's two shades of bright pink. Wait, now I'm forgetting which one's which.
So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I actually, it there's the super bright green and the super bright pink are the only ones that matter until you get the overgrowth. Like this is all you can do until you get the overgrowth. Honestly, they need to, I think they need to do this better. There should be a, the, like you should be able to search for, you know, you mo oh, well. Huh? Didn't even know you could search for tiles like that. Um, but is this even what you want? Because that's just the natural Yumako soil. But I don't want just natural. I want... What's it called? Wet? Yeah, I'm not... I'm not happy with that. I like... It is nice that you can search Yumako. But that still doesn't really give you what you're looking for. And it's it's just confusing because there's basically three different layers. There's the natural, and then there's the stuff that you can put this soil over, the Yamako wetland. And then there's even one more level later of the overgrowth soil, but that still has to go in the green biome which, again, it's not entirely clear where that can and can't go in all of this. Like, obviously, there's green color, but what about this? Is this the green biome? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't... I'm guessing it's not. What about... What about this part? Is this little part in the biome? Does that count as green biome? Can I put the overgrowth there? It's just not... It's not clear at all. Um, like, what you can and can't do, really. But, that being said, I think we have enough for now, and it should last us a while, so it's not really a big deal. Alright, now, next question. Are we backing up on Bioflux still? I mean, it looks like we're close, but we're not. So, we need more Yumako still? Is that the thing? I'm getting 29.2 Jelly Nut, and I'm getting 29.7 Yumako Mash, but we need more Yumako Mash than we need. Jelly Nut in the recipe, I believe. Is that right? Yeah, 15 to 12 is the ratio. A little bit more Yumako Mash should get us there. And now these probably should be stacked. Oh! Oh, really? Is it just because things haven't averaged out yet? Because this went in one big wave? Oh, and we're actually screwing over a few plots of planting there, if we do it that way. Get two more trees. Okay, let's see if Caster Labs will work now. It seems to be working properly, maybe. One moment. One moment, maybe it will work. No, no, it's still not working. Okay, fine. Be that way. But yeah, so these don't need to be stack inserters, I don't think, because we don't have enough per second where that would matter. And carbon fiber is working. Do I need to be importing that to Novus as well? I mean, eventually, maybe. Cool belt equipment. I forgot about that. And the foundations, rail guns. Mostly just for stack inserters for now. So I don't think I need to import that to Novus. 
Um, so it's really just the bioflux that we need then. Which it has as a request. Why is that not... Shouldn't that be translating to the request? Oh, are you serious? Wait, what? Why is that not getting requested then? First of all, I didn't check the box on those two. But that's really annoying. So it doesn't read as a logistics request? Do I have to do I have to add that in manually? Read contents, read orbital request. There we go. So I have to add in the orbital requests. Mm, have I already polluted my radar? What does the radar got? Uh, it looks like it's reading the contents, unfortunately. So, what about red channel on radar? Red channel free? I think red radar is free. Yeah, red radar is free. So what we'll do is we'll put red orbital request there. And then over here, we will add in red to the inserter. Read orbital requests. What? It certainly is a request. Why is it not getting read? Literally set to read orbital requests. We just saw it a minute ago. The 100 Bioflux. I'm gonna restart the timer here so it doesn't leave on us. So why is this not working? We're definitely requesting Bioflux. It shows up as red. We're reading orbital requests, but we're not getting any It's not actually reading it. The heck? Well, that's odd. <laughs> I, it's, am I crazy here? Read orbital, it was working a second ago too. Is it getting canceled out somehow? No, if I literally only connect it to a substation, it still is not reading the request. What happened? It was working a minute ago. This is a glitch, right? This is a bug? Or is this somehow not being noticed as a request? It certainly seems like it is set up correctly to be requesting a hundred. That doesn't change anything. Um, this feels kind of messed up. What's so confusing is it was there a minute ago, the 100 bioflux signal. So changing it to green wire didn't fix it either. That's good. Oh, there it is. What the hell? What just happened? Why is it back? What is going on? 
That signal was not there a second ago. What the actual heck is going on here? No, the ship did not just arrive. We've been here for a while messing with this. And that signal wasn't there. And I've changed exactly nothing other than just disconnect and reconnect this silo a couple times. Look, see, it's not there. There's no signal. All I did was just disconnect it and reconnect it. Uh, something's really glitchy with this orbital requests thing. Do I have to like turn it off and turn it back on and then it works? Yeah, that's, that's a bug. I shouldn't have to do that for it to work. That's certainly a bug. All right, uh, maybe I'll remember to report that on the forums later. But that being said, that should make it so that this inserter will actually put in the 100 and then the 100 is there and that should get fulfilled. Why is that not getting fulfilled? Oh, because it's not enough to fill a rocket. We need a thousand to fill a rocket. So we need a minimum payload of, let's just say 200. Let's make it a little simpler. Okay. All right, so that should fix that problem. I don't know why it's glitchy like that. That's a bit concerning, because then that makes me feel like I could break it any time. So that's a weird bug. That feels like a pretty easy bug to reproduce. I, I don't, I'm surprised that's in the game. Um, I'm surprised that one made it through testing. I'm gonna go for a thousand just because... Well, I don't know if it'll make a difference actually. We're actually having issues. Hmm. We could get one more right here. I think that's... I guess I could... this back. There. Maybe this. Uh, Waskly, that wasn't a radar related issue though. The issue, like even just hooking it up to the substation alone, it still wasn't sending the signal properly. So it, it didn't actually have anything to do with the radar in this case. Um, and then I think probably should put stack inserters here. Oh, now that's frustrating. You can't set the stack size. I want. I didn't want to triple. I didn't want to triple it. I wanted to just double it. But this is not giving me a choice. I was hopeful that stack inserters would have override stack height, you know? Um, I'm guessing I could set this to two, but then the problem is they're gonna go really slow, right? So what I want is for it to hold all 16 items, but drop them in piles of two to get exactly double the throughput, but there's no choice for that. But is that fine? Because now we're going to get a lot more spoilage of this belt. It was working fine before. Maybe, maybe I should just let sleeping dogs lie. And go with unstacked nutrients until we actually start running out. Um, alright. Well, we've done some good things. This should end up with Bioflux 
getting to Novus. That's the important part. Um, and then Novus can request Bioflux. And then it will spoil eventually. So we do need some sort of spoilage getter ridder of her. Now we've got Bioflux, and we now need to make... How do we do the biter? Oh, I need to research it. Yeah, and get capture bot rockets. All right, let's work on these researches. Um, biter egg handling, asteroid, advanced asteroid processing. could get more health. I don't find that to be massively necessary at the moment. Uh, we've got plastic and rocket fuel productivity. And then Spider-Tron. Oh, and epic quality. I'll do that one last. Um, let's do a Spider-Tron. Let's do one each of plastic and rocket fuel, and then we'll go for epic quality. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. So stack inserters are a big. Oh, right. That's one of the things we have to request. Stack inserters, 500? Sure. And then a Glabian Nightmare. We want that to carry around 1,000 stack inserters. Mm. Kind of not, though. I guess it'll leave after 10 minutes, one way or another. Now let's just have it ship smaller amounts each trip. Because it'll make a lot of trips. And then we'll let Nalvis build up the big stockpile. Uh, so we'll go like a thousand here or something. Yeah, and like turbo belts, we have nowhere near enough. I guess what's interesting... Hmm. I want to use bots to request the... D d does this act as a provider chest? I don't remember. I think it does. But... If I want... The problem is if I want stuff to get offloaded into the storage network, I would have to put it into an active provider chest that's limited. Probably using filters or something. Because I don't want this to have to hold everything. I mean, I guess I could, and I could just add a million more of these. It's not that big of a deal at the end of the day. I reckon. Um, so maybe it doesn't really matter. I don't know. Probably can lag your game or something eventually if you go too crazy with that. Like, have hundreds of these. <laughs> but it is only one inventory still. It's not like I have hundreds of cargo landing pads. But yeah, so those are going. Uh, why are these not going? Do I just not have enough? Packs in circulation. Mm, maybe it's because they're turning into spoilage. Yeah, these are pretty close to spoiled. Oh, and I didn't set you to spoiled first. That should help a little bit, too. So I set this to green belts, but maybe the belt needs to be a little longer. It feels like things are getting jammed up in there. I 
and a longer belt would give a little more room for things to spread out. Though, at this point, it's kind of a, if it's not broke, why fix it situation. Especially because I'm going to go to bio labs soon. So... Where do I get those? Bio labs. I just need biter eggs, and then we can do bio labs. Nice. Science pack drain 50%. And look at that research speed. Default of seven. That's kind of intense. Wow. I mean, what are my labs at? I guess it's, okay, it's half, half of that. Uh, Captain True, not really. It's true with all the things that spoil, but having large amounts of buffers for things can be really helpful in Factorio when, because the, what am I trying to say? The way that you build in Factorio and the way that you research is very much um, bursts. Like it comes in bursts, right? You're, you're, it's not like you're building one assembler per minute on av, well, on average you might be building one assembler per minute, but you're never actually building one assembler per minute. You're building like 50 assemblers in five minutes. And so buffers are handy for that sort of thing. And the same with research packs. Now, some people like to let their research run constantly, like infinite research and stuff. But as far as the non-infinite techs, you're going between these periods of research a bunch of things and then the base is just sitting, not researching for some amount of hours. And so having buffers for your science packs makes amount, some amount of sense. So it does depend a little bit on how you play, but especially with things like inserters and assemblers and all of the things that get placed, you need some amount of buffer because you're not, you're not actually averaging out your placing of buildings. You know, when you're building a big bot network, you need hundreds of robo ports. But if you only yeah, it's not like you need your RoboPort production to be very fast. So, anyway, I don't know if that makes sense, but... Uh, let's see. Do we need to do anything else on Glaba? I think I'm getting close to being... to feeling safe to leave the Glabes all alone. Can we leave the Glabes? And to see if the chatbot thing will work again. Might be fixed by now. So we've got stack inserters. We've got Bioflux getting shipped back. I guess the thing I need to figure out is what else might we need to ship back? Because we'll get nutrients from the Bioflux. I think Bioflux is the only thing we need to ship back, right? And then we'll need to ship Biter Eggs back to, to here to make these overgrowth soils, which is interesting. Um, and a Spidertron needs fish, but it can be made on Nauvis, so that's fine. Interesting, interesting. Well, apart from getting attacked, which is going to happen eventually. Concerned about. Uh, maybe that square is okay. I mean, I've got lasers everywhere. The problem is, lasers aren't necessarily enough to kill everything. Like, the, the striders outrange them, but they should... Or strafers? What are they called? Uh, but they should strafe their way into other laser turrets, is the hope. So... I'm hopeful that this will all turn out fine if we get attacked. We've got laser turrets all around whether or not it's enough I guess just depends on the size of the attack
Well, what's the worst thing that happens? The whole the whole base blows up. We can rebuild. Kind of want to rebuild anyway. This is, you know, I, I I don't know if you guys remember, but I had said, oh yeah, this is just me figuring stuff out. This is just the starter base. We'll do it right. <laughs> and here we are, just limping along with our our Gleba starter base, actually using it for production. The, I mean. Turbo belts really helped here. If I hadn't had turbo belts, I think we would have needed to have expanded and redone some things. But turbo belts giving us a huge throughput kind of is exactly what we needed. To be able to just use our starting design to actually get the throughputs we needed for a relatively good amount of science per second. Um, and it does seem like our 10 minute break is enough to, to build up our ammo buffer. So it does mean we're bringing back slightly more spoiled science from Gleba, but that's okay. That is okay. Eventually we'll probably want to change our bioflux to the bioflux that we send back to Nalvis to be only the higher quality bioflux, right? Because then we'll get quite a bit more time on it, uh, which is, you know, which is nice. Because I think it would be pretty easy to just make higher quality bioflux by just putting quality in the bioflux makers. So that doesn't seem too rough. But yeah, I think we'll call that the end of the episode for the future YouTube recording purposes. We'll keep streaming for a bit, but for those of you from future YouTube, gosh, what, what date is it by now? It's probably late November if you're watching this from the future recording. So uh, happy almost December, I guess, to you guys from the future, and I'll see you all in the next episode.